The oldest and most powerful radio signal from space. What it means for us. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Science Telly, the channel where we explore the fascinating and sometimes mind-blowing world of science. I'm your host, and today we're going to talk about a topic that might make you feel very small and insignificant. A radio signal that hit Earth after traveling for 8 billion years in space. Yes, you heard that right. A team of astronomers has detected a mysterious burst of radio waves that originated from a distant galaxy when the universe was less than half its current age. This is the oldest and most energetic fast radio burst, FRB, ever recorded, and it could help us understand the structure and evolution of the cosmos. How did they find it, and what does it mean? Let's find out. First of all, what is a fast radio burst? A fast radio burst is a short and intense pulse of radio waves that lasts only a few milliseconds. They are extremely rare and unpredictable, and their origin is still unknown. Some possible sources are neutron stars, black holes, or even alien civilizations. The first FRB was discovered in 2007 by accident, when a researcher was looking at old data from a radio telescope in Australia. Since then, hundreds of FRBs have been detected by various telescopes around the world, but most of them are one-off events that never repeat. Only a few FRBs have been traced back to their host galaxies, which are usually very far away from us. The FRB that we are talking about today is named FRB 2022610A, and it was detected on June 10, 2022, by the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, ASKAP, a radio telescope that consists of 36 antennas spread over 6 kilometers. The ASKAP team was able to measure the time delay and frequency shift of the signal, which revealed its distance and energy. They found that the signal came from a galaxy that is about 8 billion light years away from us. That means that the signal was emitted when the universe was only about 5.7 billion years old, or less than half its current age of 13.8 billion years. To put this in perspective, our own solar system is only about 4.6 billion years old. They also found that the signal was extremely powerful, about three and a half times more energetic than any other FRB ever observed. The signal had an energy equivalent to what our sun produces in 30 years, or enough to microwave a bowl of popcorn twice the size of the sun. But how did they find the galaxy that produced the signal? Well, they used another telescope in Chile called the Very Large Telescope, VLT, which is one of the largest optical telescopes in the world. The VLT team was able to pinpoint the exact location of the signal on the sky, and identify the galaxy that hosted it. They found that the galaxy was actually a group of two or three merging galaxies, which could explain why the signal was so powerful. The merger of galaxies could create intense magnetic fields or shock waves that could trigger the emission of FRBs. But why should we care about this ancient signal? Well, because it can help us learn more about the universe and its history. For example, by studying how the signal was distorted by the intergalactic medium, the gas and dust between galaxies, we can estimate how much matter there is in the universe and how it is distributed. This can help us solve one of the biggest mysteries in cosmology, where is all the missing matter? According to our current understanding of physics, there should be more matter in the universe than what we can see with our telescopes. Most of this matter is thought to be dark matter, which is invisible and only interacts with gravity. But even if we account for dark matter, there is still some normal matter, the atoms that make up everything we see, that is missing. One possibility is that this missing matter is hiding in the intergalactic medium, but it is very hard to detect because it is very diffuse and faint. By using FRBs as probes, we can measure how much matter there is along their path and fill in the gaps in our cosmic map. Another possibility is that this missing matter is hiding in black holes or other exotic objects that do not emit any light or radiation. By using FRBs as sources, we can test if there are any gravitational effects or anomalies caused by these objects and reveal their presence. As you can see, this ancient signal is not only amazing but also useful for our scientific quest. It shows us how powerful and diverse nature can be, and how much we still have to discover and understand. That's all for today's episode of Science Telly. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more science videos.
And don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions on this topic. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.